Greetings, you wonderful people of the internet. My name is Gamma Fox, and Genshin Impact version 2.5 is now out. Yaimiko is on the banners. I'm not rolling for her though, I'm saving for Ayato. <laughs> and we are going to do the new Raiden Shogun story quest. I am really excited for this. I've been wanting to freaking play this all day, but I haven't been able to do it until now, so we will begin. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. You only want to see me react to like the big stuff that's gonna happen later on in the story. So I'm gonna jump ahead in the future and I'll see you guys there. Or whatever like important stuff happens along the way, I guess. Oh. Oh. Torn to oblivion. Ooh. Ooh. Shogun? Wait, no. Could also be A. Oh, who, who, which one? Which one? Oh, huh. it's you two. Oh, it's A. Yeah, that's A. That's A. It's A. That was sick. It has been a long time. Yeah. We have not seen each other since the resolution yeah. of the Tenryo Commission crisis. Hell yeah. Wait, what's she doing out here, though? Okay, sounds more like A. Yeah. It is you, right? Yeah. You sure made short work of that. Yeah. That was amazing. Dude, I should have brought A, a with me on this. It would have been a lot more fitting. What brings you out this time? I'm making early preparations for what is to come. Last time we took a walk around Inazuma together, I witnessed the way the world is today. I was finally able to comprehend some things that I had never understood in the past. Oh. Since then, every time I encounter an obstacle in my thinking, I find myself having the urge to spend some time in the outside world. Makes sense. You must get super bored being stuck in there all the time. Yeah, the plane of Euthymia. Might I remind you that I am not here to amuse myself. Come on, you know you and I have fun. Recently. I have observed a number of changes in the external world from the plane of Euthymia. The most serious of these being the attack on the sacred Sakura by numerous rift towns. Hmm. I considered this matter worthy of my attention. So I pursued them, and they led me here, where I happened to run into you. Hmm. Interesting. But the commissions and, and adventurers can't, can't. But the commissions and adventurers can deal with the monsters. It does seem like a matter needing the archon's attention. If the shogun, rather than I, were to discover them, yes, perhaps she would have left the situation alone. Hmm. Hmm? Why? Because she's just a puppet. Hmm. Precisely. Oh. According to the rules I designed for her, matters of this nature are to be delegated to the tri commission. Ah, she got to follow the rules. Uh, Rift hounds attacking the sacred Sakura. It brings back bad memories of that terrible disaster. A disaster? Makoto? Yes. 500 years ago, oh. a great catastrophe befell Inazuma. Yeah, her sister Makoto died, right? Everything was engulfed in a I pitch think. black fog, and monsters ravaged the land. Countless lives were lost. And this homeland that the people had worked so hard to build barely escaped being obliterated entirely. The monsters committed many atrocities on Inazuman soil. And the Rift Hounds were always their advance guard. Hmm. Their duty was to tear open a passage through space with their claws and teeth, and then call in even more powerful beasts. 500 years ago, Kanraya, yeah, the same time period. Hmm. So you've heard of it, too. Hmm. That's an episode of history that I am loath to recall. Maybe to you, it seems like my response to these creatures was an excessive one. Nah, you gotta take care of them, man. But an excess of caution is not unwarranted in this case. Yeah. Guess you can't argue with that. Since we are both here for the same reason, let us work together. Yeah, dude, I should add her on my team, then, the eh? traces they've left in the surrounding area, there should be many more monsters nearby. All of them must be eliminated. Yeah. My mom feels so safe when we're in Ace Company. Yeah. Having someone uber powerful on your team <laughs> makes you feel invincible, doesn't it? Oh yeah, right a national dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Now with the monsters, we should ask her to tell us more about Conria. Oh yeah. Yeah, something Zhong Li wouldn't tell us, would he? It's similar to the color when the sacred Sakura takes damage. Hmm. Let's follow it. It should oh. be this way. Wait, this? The stuff? This blue stuff? Right here. Oh, here we go. We are lucky. The damage is not too serious. The Yashiro oh. Commission will be able to nurse the root system back to health. Oh, that's good. Oh, so they attacked this thing. This stuff that's flowing out. Is it sap or something? 
Oh. And how come it's glowing? I thought it'd be more purple. Huh? Smoke. Oh. What's this? Oh, is this like a flashback to 500 years ago? Is someone injured? How terrible. Oh, baby. Dead people? It wouldn't be the first time we'd seen ghosts on our journey. Yeah, that's for sure. L literally the last two islands that came out, Economia and the other one, I forgot what it's called, have both had ghosts. <laughs> Why would they appear here? Hmm. Let's search the area. Perhaps we will find out. Interesting. You okay? Uh, oh, oh, yep. She kind of just watched uh, us. Kitamura. I can't go on like this. Not when the other troops are counting on me. What happened here? Could you tell us? Who are you? What are you doing here? Run quick while you still can. The monsters will be back. And once you're in their sights, I'm telling you there's no escaping them. Mm. We will defend Inazuma until our dying breath. What exactly happens? You... You don't know? Inazuma is engulfed in darkness. Beasts and horrifying monsters are everywhere. This is a flashback. They're merciless, ferocious, and they will devour everything in their path. Yeah, this is like a flashback to like 500 years ago, right? It has to. Every has last to be. trace of humanity's existence, I tell you. They'll devour it all. Hmm. But, look. None of that seems to be going on around here. Paimon. Not right now. Use your brain. But they'll be back. Look, get out of here. Now, there's no time left. The Almighty Shogun is gone. So is Kitsune Saigu. Ooh. There is no one left to rely on but ourselves. Kitsune Saigu? Oh, that, that white that white fox lady? I don't know how she looks long so cool. we can hold out for. But if we abandon our hope, then we've got nothing left at all. Don't worry, I'm right here. Oh! It's the Shogun? Wait, so they're a flashback though, right? What? Uh, this is weird. You're back. Please, we beg you. You have to help us. You have to save Inazuma. Only the glow of your supreme lightning can dispel this terrible darkness. Please, or the whole of Inazuma will be reduced to a hunting ground for the beasts. Calm down. The war you speak of is over. Over? But what do you mean? Shogun... Look around you. The grass grows green and lush, and a soft breeze blows. This is Inazuma at peace, as you will no doubt remember. Man. A's voice act is so good. There are no monsters, nor is there anything else here that could threaten your life. What? But he's a ghost, though. Like a flashback, right? At least I'm assuming that. B but how? Hmm. Just moments ago, they were everywhere. Hmm. I saw them tear my comrade to shreds with my own eyes. Hey, calm down. Everything's fine now. What if he goes back to, like, the past? Huh. And fades back or something? I think I understand. Almighty Shogun, you saved Inazuma. <laughs> yes, we were right to place our trust in the Almighty Shogun. <laughs> as long as the Shogun is with us. Inazuma will last for an eternity. Oh. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, thank you. Oh. What's He's wrong with him? fading away. Yeah, is he disappearing? He's gone. That was weird. Also very interesting. Paimon can't even begin to understand yeah. what that was all about. Yeah. But somehow, Paimon feels all sad and hopeless. I agree with Paimon. If I am not mistaken... What we just saw was a samurai's memory that was buried in the land. Yeah. The sacred sakura can absorb and purify the filth in the ley lines. Oh. After the rift hounds attacked, some of this filth leaked out through the cracks in the trunk and formed a physical entity. Oh. An entity formed with strong filth would be highly aggressive. But when purified, it presents in the form of a memory. So that's what that was. Purified filth quickly dissipates and will be absorbed by the ley lines shortly afterwards. In other words, it cannot exist for too long. The same thing that happened to Dusky Ming? Dusky Ming? That little girl? Wait, really? So the memories of the ones that died are all Wait. appearing at this moment? Is Dusky Ming that little girl in Leeway? I can't remember. Yes. 
That soldier was one of the many thousands who made the ultimate sacrifice. What he was describing just now was precisely the disaster that happened in Inazuma 500 years ago. Ah, he also mentioned the Shogun was absent. He also mentioned that Kasune Saga was absent in the Shogun. I feel like her response to that would be a lot more interesting. Yes. Inazuma was facing many great crises at that time. Some were local in origin, while others... <sighs> others came from the now fallen kingdom of Kanria. Ooh, damn. The disaster in Inazuma caused me great concern. I felt that I had to step in before it was too late. Otherwise, it would spread to all of Tevat. But my friend, Kitsune Saiku, reassured me that I had nothing to worry about. She would shoulder the responsibility of protecting Inazuma Aww. and mobilize all forces at her disposal to combat the threat. Yeah, she was that really cool-looking white fox lady, right? I mean, like, and, and what was in her, her teaser I could tell trailer. that, although neither of us acknowledged it, we both knew that the road ahead would likely end in tragedy. So... Inazuma was attacked at the same time as when the disaster happened in Kanria? Indeed. Countless monsters suddenly appeared throughout all of Inazuma. In the end, Kitsune Saigu sacrificed her life to protect the people. Oh, oh, we're never gonna play as her then, eh? Oh, that sucks. I never had the chance to see her one last time. But I would like to believe that she kept her promise to me until the very last. Mm. But even then, Inazuma was left more devastated than we could have ever imagined. Those terrible tragedies left great wounds that are still felt to this day, both on the land itself and in my heart. Mm. Hey. Oh, Is this the loss that Yaimiko mentioned? Yes. Yeah. For the longest time, I couldn't bring myself to face the pain of that loss. All my martial might was in vain. Though I could conquer Tatarigami and vanquish monsters, I was helpless against the ravages of time. Powerless to keep the ones I cherished alive. Mm. Damn. And that's why she chases eternity, because she wants things to stay the way they are, so she doesn't lose anyone, you know, yeah. But, after my clash with human ambition, I thought long and hard. Now I realize I cannot fixate on the past forever. So you're no longer stuck in the past? When I traveled around Inazuma with you, I caught a glimpse of how the nation has progressed over the centuries. A glimpse of human potential. Everything far exceeded my expectations. Moving forward inevitably invites further loss, but also new encounters. Indeed, you meet me. Just think of that soldier. Hmm. Despite all the losses he had experienced, he still chose to keep fighting for the sake of moving forward. All those who sacrificed themselves back then gave their lives fighting for a future. But... Perhaps the future they were hoping for is not the eternity that I once strove for. That's what being human is all about, yep. As Inazuma's god, it is high time I honored their wishes. Warriors of the past who spilled your blood on this land, your noble souls now rest in this earth. I will never forget you and all that you did for Inazuma. He's taking all this pretty hard. Damn. Man, this, this this quest has just started and I'm already like really into it. This is really good so far. Damn. Come on. Let's keep investigating the damage to the sacred Sakura. Okie dokie. Will Yai show up in this? I wonder if Yai will show up in this. Because you can't do Yai's story quest until you do this. Which is interesting. I wonder why. Maybe I should have Mona on my team instead of Ayaka. Oh, there's more. Oh, I'm by- what? Eh? Hey? Why am I just riding? Wait a minute, am I different? Is this my riding? This is my riding. Yeah, this is my riding. But why am I by myself? All obstacles. Now you shall what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, where's my team? I'm by myself. Huh? Wait, wait, guys, hold on. Wait, I'm really low on health. This is not good. 
Wait, I need to, I need to have some pause. Hold on. Where, where did my team go, dude? I'm so confused. <laughs> Where's my Singcho? Where's my Sayu? Where's my Ayaya? Why, why did I only just get her? Hmm. You okay, girl? Are you feeling okay? Why would you ask that? You seem to be down in the dumps. Well, usually you'd pull out your sword and swish! Vaporize them all in one go! No? I just wonder why we're by ourselves. You are unduly concerned. I'm simply conserving my energy. That is fear. Energy recharge is important. Although I have some understanding of the situation already, it could take an unexpected turn at any time. That's true. I must be prepared for anything. If there are more formidable monsters lying in wait in this area, I must make sure I have the strength to face them. Mm. Ah, makes sense. Spoken like a seasoned shogun. <laughs> the roots seem pretty badly damaged this time. Blue goo. We definitely need to tell the Yashiro Commission about this. Hey, the same light is Oh, we're going to see a flashback? Again. Is it the same situation as before? It is too. Oh, he's blindfolded. <gasps> Furuyama? Is that you? You recognize him. Hmm? Almighty Shogun, what brings you back so soon? I thought you were off fighting a battle in a distant land. It's interesting how we can interact with them. Like, I wonder, like, if back in their time, they would have seen, like, a vision of us. Fighting a battle in a distant land? Sounds like this guy's talking about 500 years ago, too. Yeah, unless it is, they've just been brought Allow me to here, to introduce Furuyama. which is what I'm assuming, actually. He is a tea master and a member of my retinue. Oh. Though blind, Furuyama is unparalleled in his ability to appraise tea. He brews some of the very finest tea in all of Inazuma. Oh. Your Excellency, you shower me with praise undeserved. I have simply had the good fortune to be in your excellency's presence long enough to become acquainted with all the skills that are required of me. It sounds like the almighty shogun has brought a guest. I'm afraid I'm unable to serve you any respectable refreshments on account of the current situation. But please, sit and rest. Hmm. After all, it's quite a mess out there. I wonder if his environment is the same as ours. Um, what should we do? Let's go along with what he says. I want to learn more about the past. Oh, um, yeah. Sheesh. There's monsters everywhere out there. It's pitch black and loads of people have been injured. I see. So, they have fought their way this far already. Most of the residents in this neighborhood have already escaped. They wanted to take me with them, but it seemed rather pointless to me. So, I decided to stay. Hmm. And now the almighty Shogun is here, I have even less reason to run away. <laughs> Imagine if this was something that even the almighty Shogun was powerless to resolve. Where could I possibly run to then? How come you're not panicking? People flee out of a desire to live on. And the desire to live on stems from a feeling of having unfinished business in life. Hmm. But me, I have no such thoughts. And I have no regrets. The Almighty Shogun often speaks to me about her dreams over tea. Just listening to her stories. Ah. I've been blind for many years, but her vivid descriptions took me on a splendid journey to all the most beautiful places in Inazuma. Over time, I've come to understand her mindset. Quite the romantic at heart. A true dreamer. Aww. One thing she always says is, good things don't last forever. Everything changes, fades, disappears completely over the passage of time. And so, people must make the most of the life they have, seize the chance to enjoy it while it lasts, and have no regrets in the end. Hmm? It doesn't sound like A at all. This doesn't fit the definition of eternity. Is, is he talking about Makoto? I think he's talking about Makoto, right? So you see, as yeah. bleak as things may be now, I have experienced countless wonderful things in life and have no reason not to be satisfied. He must be talking about Makoto. Perhaps you are right. It won't be long now before I have to say goodbye to the almighty Shogun for the last time. Ah, what a pity. 
I'll never get to see what Inazuma looks like after the almighty Shogun rebuilds it anew. But I suppose it doesn't matter. Everyone says that Inazuma has turned dark now. But to me, it went dark a long time ago. Once this catastrophe is over, life is sure to spring forth anew. But even if I survived until then, I'd probably be a hopelessly befuddled old so-and-so by then. <laughs> so, never mind, eh? Eh, eh? Hmm. Oh, goodness me. Speaking of befuddled, look at me rambling away to my heart's content and forgetting to serve the tea. <laughs> the almighty Shogun comes to visit and I don't have the tea ready. A truly egregious loss of decorum. One moment, I'll just... Hmm? Where in the world is the tea set? I hope the others didn't smash it to smithereens in their hasty departure. I wonder, I wonder how, what his perspective is like at the moment. Here. Yeah, like is what he's seeing the same as what we oh well, he does he's blind, he can't see, but you know, does does he think his surroundings is the same as uh what we Reading, we are in? But it's always been right by my mm. side. Goodness gracious, what a fool I'm making of myself. We know where to find the TC it, we do. I couldn't possibly have my guests fetch it themselves. That would be most discourteous indeed. We, we do. Don't worry about it. Take a rest. We'll be back right away. Can he actually interact oh, with You're not stuff going though? Too, are you? No, no, no. Your humble servant implores you, not with the war raging outside. This place is complicated. It's quite unlike the tea house in your memories. Leave it to us. Huh. But Well, okay. I never thought I'd see the day that I need the almighty Shogun to personally collect my tea set for me. Hmm. I can't decide whether it's a final regret or a final stroke of good fortune. Yeah, both. <laughs> hmm. Where should we go to find it? Interesting. Having a cup of tea isn't exactly the most urgent thing to do right now, but at the same time, this lovely old man from 500 years ago has been through so much. And it makes Paimon so sad. Hmm. I'm also feeling very nostalgic for his tea. Aww. Oh, why don't we go to the Kamisato estate? Oh, that's there where we're going. There will definitely be a tea set we can borrow there. Cool. Sure. Are we going are we, are we, are we, are we to talk to Ayaka? Yeah? Yeah? Hopefully? Please? It would be very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Is she going to show up? Is she actually going to be part of the quest? It's the Traveler. That'd be great. And the almighty Shogun! Indeed. How might I be of assistance, Your Excellency? I wish to borrow a tea set from the Yashiro Commission. Oh, oh, oh lightning uh, in the background. Sure. <laughs> I'll fetch that for you right away. First thing. Uh, please step into the courtyard and have a rest, almighty Shogun. Oh, and I'll inform my lord about your visit immediately. Ah, and the tea set. I'll bring that here as soon as it's ready. Are we gonna meet Ayato? Be at ease. I'm not here to see Commissioner Kamisato. Oh. Actually, I'd prefer to spend this time chatting with the traveler. Aww. Please, fetch the tea set at your convenience. We're good friends of A. Uh, no, no, no. I am your humble servant. I daren't think of my own convenience when the Almighty Shogun graces me with her presence. I'll deal with it right away. Well, it's not often we have the chance to chat. I'm sure you must have a lot of questions. Was it really you that that tea master used to serve? Right. No, it, was it must have been Makoto, right? Shogun that he described didn't sound anything like you at all. Because they're twins, right? So they look like exactly alike. I seldom had the time to drink tea. Mm. <laughs> Any free time I had was spent practicing martial arts. So, in the vast majority of cases, the one he made tea mm. for was the former Electro Archon, who was also my sister, Raiden Makoto. Mm, Makoto. He may well have That's had an inkling about there being two Raiden Shoguns. But he always acted as if he was completely unaware of it. Hmm. The philosophy of life that he shared with us just now, that was Makoto's view on reality. She always saw things that way. You and Makoto had pretty different views, huh? Hmm. Indeed we did. It was the biggest difference between us. In her eyes, the most precious things in this world were dreams. The yearning for a better future held by living beings. 
dreams, or in other words, ambitions? They are similar. Visions? But not identical. Hmm. When you came charging into the plain of Euthymia, I saw human aspirations light up the sky far above in the form of countless stars. This somewhat shook me. Hmm. Now, it seems like she was right. While I took the wayward path. Wow. There sure was a lot going on beneath the surface. Yeah, that's for sure. Mom there always saw is. saw a bigger picture than I did. In her view, a dream is more imaginary. More abstract than an ambition. An ambition is a yearning for something material. Or a concrete outcome. It is finite in nature. And will be replaced by a new ambition in due course. Makoto was more concerned with the force that drives humans to constantly generate new ambitions in the first place. It is something innate, rooted in instinct. In other words, it is something eternal. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Quite a lot to take in. It is, but it's also very uh, interesting. To put it simply, Makoto Deep. wasn't concerned about outcomes. I didn't understand at the time. How can we say that we are maintaining eternity when things are constantly moving forward and evolving? I suppose what it comes down to is the definition of eternity she set out with. It seems more in line of how humans view the world, yeah. Yes, it does. Hmm. I always thought that she must have grasped some elusive, arcane wisdom to arrive at the conclusions she did. But in the last analysis, Makoto's philosophy was, on the surface at least, an elegantly simple one. Notwithstanding that it was also the more prudent choice, based on a more mature, far-sighted outlook. Do you feel you're starting to understand her better now? You have already witnessed my previous views on eternity. Mm. But now, I no longer cling to what was lost. I suppose that means our differences have been reconciled. Hmm. Almighty Shogun, I found a tea oh. set. This one in particular should be fit for your excellency's use. I, I forgot that we were here for that, actually. I was so into what she was saying, dude. It's quite beautiful. Thank you. Aw. You are too kind. He's lovely. A humble servant such as I does not deserve Ooh. the gratitude of the almighty Shogun. Uh, uh, you might want to <laughs> watch out for that lightning, though. It's all good, sir. She's actually pretty chill. She, she is, dude. She actually is. I love it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let us return. We ought not keep Furuyama waiting too long. Hey, he's chill. Cool. But I love that. He's actually pretty chill. <laughs> like, dude, absolutely. freaking lootly. Although, I, I would have liked Ayaka to show up and interact with her, but that would have been pretty cool. I would have liked that, personally. But hey, you know, like, that was still, like, really, really interesting. I want to grab that Onikabuto. Thank you. There we go. We got your tea set. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Hey, where'd he go? And the uh, lightning went away, too. He wouldn't have gone looking for a tea set himself, would he? Wouldn't put it past him. Or perhaps the ley lines did not have the power to sustain him for very long. Mm. As was the case with the memory we saw earlier. So, so we won't get to drink his tea? Would he have been able to interact with it? We didn't even have a chance to. It's like say a ghost. Aww. <laughs> it's the okay. information held in the ley lines is complex and disorderly. Mm. The fact that we were able to meet him to begin with was a miracle of fate. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we have met anyone? Check out Paimon. Let's make our own tea here. Well, this chance won't come often, and we do have a tea set. Perhaps I should try my hand at making us a pot of tea. Oh, let's go! I've watched Furuyama brew tea on many occasions. I doubt I should have any major problems doing it myself. No, wait, no, she can't cook, can she? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm scared. <laughs> the tea is ready. Please give it a try. Uh-oh. So many thoughts were racing through my head as I was brewing it. I... I'm not sure how to explain it. 
I guess brewing isn't the same as cooking, though, is it? You don't need to. I understand. You're right. But the things we've seen today have brought back many memories for me. Hmm. I've been reminded of many people, too. Kitsune Saigu. Hmm. Makoto. Makoto. And all the other friends who I watched pass even further back. Oh. Back at the Yashiro Commission, I kept the conversation reasonably light-hearted. But now... I'd like to broach a heavier topic, if I may. Oh? The events of 500 years ago not only robbed me of my friend, Kitsune Saiku, they also took Makoto away from me, for good. Hmm. She died in that disaster too? Mm, she wasn't a warrior, like, she, she was like the benevolent leader, right? Whereas A was like the warrior who went and took care of things, you know? So she probably got attacked and couldn't really fight back as much as A could. Yes. She went to Conria alone. Oh. Without telling me. Damn, why? Unlike me, Makoto was no martial artist. Yeah. Whenever similar crises had arisen in the past, I was always the one to face them yeah, so instead. She, she couldn't fight, dude. But this time, the circumstances were so grave that Makoto had no choice but to leave me behind. Or... Perhaps it was more that she went ahead of me, put herself in front of me, so that I would remain hidden. In any case, by the time I realized what was happening... Makoto had already, yeah, uh, damn. Yes. It was too late. I arrived only in time to hear her dying breath. Damn. She had already lapsed into unconsciousness by that point. So all I could do was enter into her mind. As far as you're concerned, it would be somewhere similar to the plane of Euthymia. It was there that we bid each other a final farewell. I cried bitterly. Even in those final moments, I couldn't understand her actions. Damn, dude, her voice actor does such a brilliant job. Holy shit! Like you can, you can feel that emotion, dude. Why did she go to Conria first, and not I? Why did she keep me in the dark about it? Was it to shield me? It was there and then that I resolved to pursue eternity. As a testament to that decision, I saved her realm of consciousness just before it collapsed completely and brought it back to Inazuma. And that's what she turned into the plane of Euthymia, right? That's quite a story. Yeah, damn. When I returned to Inazuma, I was shocked to find that a great sakura tree had appeared on Mount Yogo. The tree that appeared? you know as the sacred sakura. Appeared? That's exactly what everyone back then told me as well. That it had existed since time immemorial. They were so matter-of-fact about it, and couldn't at all understand what I was so surprised about. Hmm. No one questioned it. And yet, its presence contrasted so starkly with the area as I remembered it. It seemed as if... I was the only one to have noticed it appear suddenly out of thin air. That's weird. That's straight. Makoto must have done. Yeah, that must, oh, that must have something to do with Makoto, right? In the end, I simply had to accept that it was a miraculous effect of Makoto's mm. consciousness. Yeah, that's weird. With the help of the sacred Sakura's power, I was finally able to overcome the monsters and quell the disaster in Inazuma. Huh. This is all really hard to understand. Kinda beyond Paimon's level. Simply put, Makoto's power somehow made that tree appear, yeah. Yes. She had such a great love for this land, and for its people. In this respect, I still do not compare to her. I once told myself that I would never speak of these events again. Facing the fact that she is gone is 
unbearably painful. Yeah, I don't blame you. But even the tea that is most bitter to the tongue, once swallowed, leaves some sweetness in the throat. Damn. And it's time I came to terms with it all. Yeah. I mean, 500 years in the making, damn. It seems you've- you, it seems like you've done a lot of thinking about this already. I know the pain of separation too, yeah. Oh, um, while we're on the topic, since you experienced that battle oh, in yeah. person... Have you seen my brother before? I feel like- yeah, this is gonna happen with every Archon, isn't it? We had the same situation with Zhongli. Have we had this with Venti yet? I actually don't know. Um, maybe we're gonna get a second Venti quest in the future, possibly. Brother? Hmm. hmm. I had heard that you were looking for your family. You mean to say that he was somehow involved in the Conria disaster? Based on what we've learned so far, it seems so, yeah. I'm sorry. I wasn't there for the whole thing. Mm. By the time I arrived, the worst of the fighting was already over. Yeah. And also, my mind was consumed entirely with the plight of Inazuma. And the fate of those closest to me. Yeah, that's that's fear, honestly, you know. So, I'm afraid I can't help you. Damn. Well, see, at least she had, like, a, a decent, like, alibi, you know? Unlike Zhongli, who's just like, oh, sorry, contract says I can't. <laughs> you know? So, like, that that's that's fear, honestly. Plus, like, her sister literally just died, so, like, it's not gonna be, like, on her mind to, to pay attention to that kind of thing, you know? Oh, well, that's a shame. Mm. But it can't be helped, I guess. Boy, both of you have experienced great tragedy. Mm. With this last cup of tea, let us honor the Tea Master's memory. Thank you, Destiny, for giving us the chance to meet again. Damn. We should go. Let's keep following the traces. Damn. Dude, this has been, this has well. been so good Based so far. Like, so far, damn. I believe this next pack of monsters should be the last. See, there's another thing I want to bring up actually. Is like a lot of people were dissatisfied with the first part of um, I was gonna say Raiden, but this is A. The first part of like A's uh, story quests. But honestly, like that was to lead up to this. You know, you you got to have build up to these kind of things. And the fact that we spent that time with A helped her build trust with us. And that's why she can reveal these kind of things to us. So it makes it a lot more satisfying when it actually happens. I really like this because, damn, like there's not much like action, but it's a lot of um, it's a lot of uh, uh monologue. But like at the same time, it's really good. Like it's like you're learning a lot of stuff, and it's really deep, and I really love it. It's so good. I like, her voice actor is doing such a good job. Like holy crap! Uh, I, I I still have flashbacks of first exploring in Azuma. God, that was fun. I had it's probably one of my fun, one of my favorite times playing this game was first coming in Azuma and exploring this island specifically. I remember just being so wide-eyed about it, dude. It was so good. Am I gonna fight these things by myself again? Please no. I'm gonna switch character. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I was gonna switch character just in case. Ooh. Once again. Please leave them to me. Are you gonna, are you gonna zappy zappy? Hey, hey. Ooh. Uh, are you sure you're all right? Uh oh. You're scaring us. She look mad. <clears throat> Fear not. Fighting is what I do best. You okay? Oh, I am by myself. Uh oh. There is no escape. Uh oh. Uh oh. Inazuma shines eternal. Shit. Good thing mine's strong. If you didn't have A in this story quest, would you like get like a a different version of it? I wonder. Oh, there's a Geo one. The fact I'm by myself makes this actually kind of hard because these guys bleed. I didn't make sure my dodging's on point. Now. Oh shit. Oh oh. Wait, what? Huh? What? What, what happens? Are you okay? She like froze for a sec. I didn't get hit at all. She got, like paralyzed. That was weird. Illusion shattered. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh. Need to need to need to heal. Need to heal. I need to eat 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 some hash browns, eh? There you go. Oh shit. Oh, I'm frozen again, dude. What the heck? Why? That's so weird. Okay, there we go. Why was she freezing like that? Hey, maybe you should leave this one to us. 
You don't look so good. I... Oh. My apologies. Don't worry about it. Just take a breather and get your strength back. We'll deal with the monsters. Are we actually gonna... We're actually gonna fight as a team now? Oh, here we go. Look, that's the same light again. Time for another trip down memory lane. What are these guys gonna say? Where am I? Fujiki. Who are you? Uh, Almighty Shogun, you're here too. Oh. Are you injured, Your Excellency? Uh, I'm quite all right. Just feeling a little stiff. Yeah, why is she like that? Though? We, the Shogun at Samurai, will defend the Shogun until the very end. Come oh. on, man. They're coming back for more. Let's get them. Oh shit. Don't. It's too dangerous. Danger is our duty, ma'am. If we were the kinds to shy away from danger, we never would have taken up arms to begin with. No need to worry, Almighty Shogun. When the situation looks bleak, we will draw on the power granted to us by the gods. Oh, they have visions? Is that a vision? Ooh. It certainly is. I know the gods are omnipotent, and their willingness to grant their power to humans means they have high expectations for us. If the Almighty Shogun is in trouble, now of all times is the moment for us to honor that. Cool. So that's how samurai of that era understood visions, huh? Huh, so full of hope. An unwavering commitment to the resistance. Nobody knew where your excellency had gone, and we were starting to despair. But now we've found you. You're right here with us. Just the sight of you appearing before us once more has reignited the hope in our hearts. This hope is the light that will guide us out from the darkness. Everyone on me! Oh, yo, we're fighting with them. Huh? Ooh. Affirmative, but watch your backs. Cool. Yo, let's go. Alright, I, I still got, I got, I still got her on my party. <laughs> so yeah, I was meant to fight her by, by herself. Interesting. Interesting. Twin jutsu. Oh. Ooh, let's go. Cool. This is sick. Go. Get him. Freeze him up. Yeah. Oh damn, nah, I destroyed them, holy crap. <laughs> Guess what happens when I get my whole team? Let's go. It seems like their attacks are finally over. No more spawning in. <laughs> I've never fought so fiercely before. Thank you all. Um, are you okay? Maybe you should keep resting. Mm. I'm fine. I feel much better already. But why is she like that, though? Like, why is she... Mm. You fought phenomenally. It was truly awe-inspiring. The monsters will definitely come back. And when they do, it'll be more than a few rift hounds this time. Quickly, escort Her Excellency back to Inazuma City, and regroup with the General's forces as soon as possible. Hmm. When everyone sees the Almighty Shogun safely returning, their spirits will be lifted. Hmm. Well, what are you guys gonna do? We will stay here and guard against the monster's advance. We cannot afford to let them get any further. We are brothers in arms. As long as we stick together, we can face any number of monsters that come our way. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have no business disrupting the reality they're expecting. Great, thanks, so. Yeah, yeah. Just leave it to us. Fighting is what we do best. Yeah, because they're the gonna disappear Shogun anyway, right? The only one of us with the power to change the present state of affairs. Only Her Excellency can turn back the tide of despair and lead us onward into the future. No matter what kind of threat faces Inazuma, we will always place our faith in the Almighty Shogun. Oh, thank you all very much. I promise you that I will create a bright future for Inazuma. Yeah, she's moving forward, dude. I should not have left it this late to make this promise. Mm. But from this moment forth, know that I shall be true to my word. Don't worry, Your Excellency. We will never doubt your word as long as we live. With you leading us, we will claim back everything that Inazuma has lost. Glory to the Shogun. Damn. And then they're disappearing. Glory to the Shogun! This is so good, dude. I love this. It's such good, like, character, de like, development, you know, for A, uh, particularly. She's learning to, like, not rely on eternity, you know, learning to move forward, I guess you could say. They're gone. Was that, was that a promise to them? It was both. Hmm. The people's sacrifice has always caused me immense pain. 
But in dwelling on the tragedy, I overlooked their splendor. The grief blinded me to how brightly they shone in their final moments. Mm. The result being that in the centuries since their sacrifice, I have dishonored their will. You could take the view that whatever I say to them is meaningless, because they are but disembodied memories held in the ley lines. But even so, they are due a resolution. I owe it to them, and to all the people who have placed their faith in me to date. Well, Paimon thinks that even if it's a few hundred years later, you're doing right by them now, mm -hmm. and that's what counts. Thank you for your comforting words. But this is my basic duty as Inazuma's Archon. And I have neglected it for far too long. So is she going to take over the Raiden? Uh, not, the, not the Raiden, the, the puppet? Because she technically is Raiden. She's Raiden A. I used to think just like that samurai. That I was first and foremost a warrior. Mm -hmm. And my only duty was to face whatever challenge came my way. But what Inazuma needs more than a warrior is someone like Makoto. Even though I am utterly unlike Makoto and can never become the person she was, I still need to do the things that she would have done. You can try, yeah. Yes, they are. They are strong and resilient and have much to be proud of. As the Raiden Shogun they revere, I should not be the one to hold them back. Well said. Sounds to Paimon like you figured things out. Hmm. Change will come to Inazuma, and with it, new possibilities. This will take time, but eventually, the future will bring healing to the scars of the past. There you go, dude. She's moving past eternity now. She's like, yeah, and that's good. It's healthy. No matter how long it takes, I am committed to bringing this to fruition. There you go. This is my promise. See, now she's committed to it, yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that the uh, puppet's not going to like this, right? The puppet's going like, to be like, wait, no, that's not what you designed to, me to do. Now that we've dealt with the Rift Hounds, mm. this matter is halfway resolved. It does not appear that the threat will escalate for the time being. Mm. I will leave the Tenryo and Yashiro commissions to handle the follow-up work, such as investigating the origins of this incident, and tending to the root system. Hmm. Alrighty then, let's move on! Coolio! Man, this is so good. I love this. Is she actually still okay? It's calm on the outside, hmm. but Paimon bets her emotions must be all over the place right now, huh? Yeah. She seems to have changed a lot since we last met her. Yeah, she's been doing a lot of thinking. Huh? Oh. What's wrong, eh? she okay? Come on, keep up! Is she freezing up again? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hey, are you okay? Uh oh. Uh, my body. I can't move it. Is is the puppet doing something? Uh, it looks like the situation mm, is more serious than I thought. Do you need to take a rest? Uh, no need. She is calling me. Oh, the puppet. Mm. The time has come. Yeah. Can you help me walk? Yeah, of course. I need to go to the cave below the Grand Narukami Shrine. Oh, that, that, that big, like, hole Why? in that ground, right? What's in there? A battleground. One where I shall sever ties with the past and take the first steps into the future. Oh, dude, I just got goosebumps from that. Oh, let's go, A. Hey, dude, I'm tearing up. Let's go, A. Hey. Oh, I love this. This is so good, dude. This is exactly what I wanted from her, dude. This is exactly what I wanted. This is perfect. I love this. God damn. Damn, that line was good. Oh, dude, she's finally stepping away from, like, the notions of eternity. She wants to freaking... Wait. What, what, what? I thought I was going down there. What? Uh, that's telling me to go up. Oh, okay. Whoops. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I, 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 I swear I thought you meant to go down. Okay. Uh, I, I guess that's fine. Oh, not here. Oh, and there. 
Okay. Oh, I didn't think it would be in here. Is it gonna be a? Oh, it's gonna be like a dungeon here, right? Show up. I'm We're assuming. finally here. The entrance should be nearby. Oh. Ah, there it is. There's the new gateway to the weekly bows. Cool. Whoa! Where'd that Tory Gate come from? Tory Gate? Are you all right? Uh, it's getting worse again. But it's fine. I'm happy. I'm about to put an end to it all. Yeah, she's gonna get rid of the puppet, right? And take her place, is what I'm assuming. This is a place. I once sealed off with oh. my own hands. The entrance to Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness. Oh, okay, never mind. It looks like she will no longer allow me to do with this body as I please. The puppet? Huh? What are you talking about? And who is she? Makoto? I'm a bit confused. Is she the puppet, or...? <sighs> Follow me. Please explain. <laughs> We're getting sucked in, yeah. <laughs> you having fun, Paimon? Okay, so here we go. This is where the, the actual fight's gonna happen, right? Uh-oh, okay, here we go. I'm scared. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Uh, guys. Guys, I'm scared. Uh... Do I have a good team for this? Oh, shit. There it is. This place. Just, it does look a lot like the plane of Euthymia. Look! Look over there! Wait. It's another A! Oh, so is that the puppets? We meet again, Traveler. It is! Okay, yeah, I was right. This body is an assistant to the one within, but it is also the guardian of the rules. Did she implant Makoto's memories, like, like, like her consciousness into the puppet? Is that what she did? That's what I'm picking up here. Should the one within wish to stray from the rules, this body shall stand in her way. Oh. Wait, Paimon knows that voice? Yeah. Is that the puppet? You have wandered the realm in my body, and you appear to have grasped the true essence of eternity. You believe your present self has greater certainty than your former self. Thus, you believe your present self is correct, don't you? But have you really been enlightened with new ideas? Or have you been degraded by irreversible erosion? Ooh. I'm here to show you my answer. Ooh. We are both warriors, and the dialogue we must now have shall be conducted by the blade alone. Ooh. Uh, wait, uh -oh. wait. The atmosphere in here just took a turn for the worse. This is so cool, though. The discomfort I was experiencing earlier was caused by the Shogun rejecting my continued use of her body. Oh, you're using her body? Interesting. Whoa. Oh, because you... I think because she removed her consciousness, right, and she put herself in the sword, I think. Right? Then what happened to her original body? That's a bit confusing. As she indicates, once I started entertaining the idea of change, I became hostile in her eyes. Oh. But inside a realm of consciousness, I exist independently of her. Yeah. She cannot affect me in this way. Ah. Oh. Though she is a puppet, the Shogun has her own consciousness too. Hmm. When necessary, she appears here to confront me. I think you've mentioned this before. This is her system to safeguard against modifications to eternity? Oh shit. <sighs> Never thought we'd see that day. This is cool. The rules I set for the Shogun are No. The Shogun herself is the manifestation of my past ideals. The very foundation stone of eternity. It shall not be easily swayed. I would not try to change her if it wasn't necessary. Mm. Isn't there any other way? Can't you talk it through or something? 
Well, she made her to be like that. Yeah, A isn't A isn't someone who leaves herself an escape route. Yeah. But they both just want the best for Inazuma. Uh oh. My form is a symbol of supreme majesty, in which has been vested power over all the realm. Whoa. It is the cohesive embodiment of all that constitutes the Raiden Shogun. Whoa. It inherits A's pain. The pain of inevitable loss that comes as she moves forward. So too does it inherit her determination to reach eternity. Every action undertaken is for the sake of resisting erosion. Determination. Courage. Love. Hatred. All of these will be degraded and distorted by the incessant flow of time. Damn. Only rules shall remain constant for eternity. Those were my thoughts when I created you. Yeah. Now, they are towering obstacles that I have no choice but to overcome. You wish to make yourself my enemy? I am your past, the everlasting law, the guardian of eternity. Ooh. Ooh, uh-oh, I can't, oh. And I am she who promised a dream to her subjects. Ride an A. Yo, let's go, eh? Ooh. In the end. Even the proud oh, here we go. Oh, I'm by herself. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, yo. Whoa, dude. Oh, my God. Yo. Right in no Inazuma Tono. Magatsu Matake, Take Narukami no Makoto. Holy crap. Oh, the music. I'm killing her too quickly, dude. My, 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 my A is too strong. <laughs> Woo! Oh shit, dude, we're gonna get another form for this, right? Dude, what's my defense? Dude, this music! Oh, this is so cool. I want to finish off with this. Boom. Yo! Oh. As long as the ley lines flow, the relentless erosion of time will never stop. Whoa. Oh shit. Oh shit, this is so sick, dude. I love this so much. You have no idea. God damn. <laughs> I love this. Oh, good thing my A is absolutely bonkers. Whoa. Oh shit. Oh, this is so cool, dude. The 1v1, bro. I love it. This is so sick. Let's go. Let's go, A. Hey. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. This is exactly this quest is giving me exactly what I wanted from A. I love whoa. Find the special illusion and, and force the body to Oh shit. I don't know which one's the real one. Oh shit. Shine down. Not that one. Was it that one? It is this one. Ooh, nice. Dude, this is so cool. This is fun. Oh crap. Uh-oh, she's getting weak. Oh shit. Whoa. She's healing again. Can I hit her? I can't hit her during this. Yeah. For the rest of time. Damn again? Shit, what do I do? Whoa. Strike dead, torn to oblivion. 50k, let's go. Damn, this is cool. I've got increased defense for this fight, or is this just through Electra, I guess? This is so sick. Whoa. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, crap. Again. Oh, she dodged. Come on, finish her off, finish her off. Here we go. Damn, that was close. She almost said the... Have you finally defeated her? Big thing. Whoa. Oh, that's a cool shot. It appears your martial prowess has not dulled. Yeah. But how long can your will remain strong? Mine's got good artifacts. How the heck? Oh. Surely the Shogun pu Puppet isn't invincible. In this realm of consciousness, her existence is tenacious indeed. Then how do we beat her? She was built to resist erosion. Oh, yeah. Her will is stronger than any other living beings, including you and me. Damn. Then how do we deal with her? Maybe. But I have to prove to her that my present will is no product of erosion. 
The future I shall forge will be a grand undertaking. One that will be resistant to erosion. Damn. If I don't do this, the Shogun's rules can never change. And Inazuma can never move forward. This is my duty. No matter how long this battle may last. Months. Years. Centuries. And no matter how many times we must fight, I will defeat her. And what will happen to Inazuna in the meantime? 500 years ago, humanity proved their strength in battle. Here in the present, they rely on their ambition to challenge wayward practices. Tear them out like the diseased wood of an old sakura tree. So that new, healthy branches might spring to life in their place. Damn. It is about time that I learn to trust them. Let's go, amen. But can you bear to leave humanity to go alone? Even look, everyone looks to the Shogun for hope. I understand that. But if the dreams of which Makoto spoke are true eternity, a short moment for which the Shogun does not exist is nothing to fear. Damn. I fight for the everlasting future of Inazuma. However long the battle may last, it is but a drop in the ocean of eternity. Damn. I vow to the subjects of Inazuma that I shall one day return. This is my oath. Please, be my witness. Damn, dude. During my absence, I place everything in Miko's hands. Oh, what? B but this means that... No, 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 no. Pass on my words. Oh, hey. Whoa, wait, really? What? Looks like we got kicked out. Oh shit, well, what are we gonna do? What do we do? Are we really just gonna leave A and the Shogun to keep on duking it out in there forever? Mm, we're, we're gonna go see Yai, aren't we? It's making sense. Mm. And maybe this is the only way to change the Shogun's rules, but still... He has no f physical body anymore, and she has to rely on the Shogun, but this cannot, cannot be like- Yeah! Yeah, because she removed her consciousness and put it in a sword, right? I think that's how that worked. Right? Also, mm. A can be pretty stubborn at times, and has a history of rushing into difficult situations! What if she gets too obsessed with winning, and she forgets why she's there in the first place? It could happen! And then she might never leave again! Yeah, our work here is not done, that's for yeah, sure. we should help her out, mm. like we did the quicker she gets through this, the better. Yeah. Is there any way we can cut down how long she needs to spend in there? Or, you know, help her win the fight? Yeah, should we go what, see what Miko? It? We can't let anything bad happen to A while she's in there. Oh, but we also can't get in there anymore. We're gonna go see Yai. Okay, well, first things first. We gotta find a way <laughs> back in. Oh, come on, Brain Juice. Brain Juice. No, we need to talk to Yai. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? She's on the banner. Yeah, that's true. Didn't didn't Yai wasn't Yai the one who taught her how to do that to transfer her consciousness into into it in the first place? Yai. Yeah, or oh, then again, I probably shouldn't be A because I'm technically she's technically gone right now. Oh, Yai. Yeah. I have, uh, some business with ye. Someone's not in the best of moods. Ooh. Hmm, let me guess. You're all tangled up in another situation and need me to unravel it for you. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I hope you realize how lucky you are. If it was anyone else, I don't think I'd have the patience to keep greeting them with a smile after the first few times. Come on, man. We're here to help your friend. But Indeed. That was a figure of speech, do you understand? Nitpicking my turns of phrase. Mm, the sheer audacity. <laughs> Paimon, get to the point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something really big's happened. It's a... She, she... Let me guess, she knows? Oh, no, we explain it. Okay, about to say, I've been kind of annoyed if Yai just oh, knew. Oh, okay. Like she was watching us. So, Ace decided to palm Inazuma off on the humans, while she goes off on her own to fight a fierce battle that doesn't even have an end date. Yep. Impossibly stubborn. Jumps straight to the most extreme course of action imaginable, presumes her sheer will can see her through, despite a near-impossible goal that requires nothing short of the very peak of her abilities. Mm. 
<laughs> yes, that sounds like A, all right. Oh, yes. You know as well as I do that she's always been like this. Why start fretting about it now? This jewel is more serious than anything up until now. She rushed into it without thinking. It is pretty serious. Rushed into it without thinking. I didn't say that, but okay. <laughs> well put. Oh, she acts like such a child sometimes. <laughs> so you seem to be under the impression that I am able to offer some sort of help? Who gave you that idea? I mean, you taught her how to do the thingy, right? Uh, is she playing dumb? She's doing this on purpose, for sure! Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You're learning, little one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But really, the truth of the matter is that I don't know much more about Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness than you do. Hmm. All I know is that it's the foundation of the sacred Sakura. Oh. And from what I've heard, it's a little different from A's plane of euthymia. Because Raiden Makoto is no longer alive? Not just because of that. The nature of the space itself is different in some way. But I can only speculate. You're the ones who have actually been there, so you tell me. What was it like? It was blue. Very blue. Anyway, we needn't worry about the details too much. It'll just be a little difficult to explain things later on, that's all. Hmm. First things first. Follow me to the entrance. Oh, what's she gonna do? Cause she, 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 she must have like an ability to, um... To manipulate it, right? Oh, to the secret realm, I gotta, I gotta go back under this way, don't I? Okay. What are we gonna do here, Yai? We're back here again. Now then, I always have my ways. It's just a question of how crafty I need to be. To the outsider, the realm of consciousness is a very abstract concept. Luckily, I'm A's familiar, so I can sense her rough whereabouts. Oh. In other words, even though I can't pinpoint the exact spatial location of this realm, I can still send you to where A is. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, it's abstract, but it has a location, but you don't know where it is, but you can still send us there. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. No need to try and understand it. Let me put this simply. Right now, she is surrounded by chaos. That makes sense. Everything is turbulent and disordered. If you try to force your way in, you could be swept away by a giant wave that sets you down in an unknown corner of space-time. Oh, shit. This is precisely why when entering the plane of Euthymia, it's much safer if you place your consciousness in a physical object first. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> <laughs> Paimon, you're not going to abandon me, are you? Suit yourself. Worst case scenario, all we stand to lose is A. So what's the big deal? Ah, uh, no, no, no. I, I, I like A. I like A a lot. She's also very good. She helps me get through the, the abyss, okay? She could be just trying to scare us, Paimon. Oh. It's okay. Shh. Well, if you're quite sure, then of course. <laughs> Now, I shall send you on your way. Okie dokie. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, but how do we... Hmm. I say... What is it? Oh, nothing. It just seems extraordinarily chaotic, that's all. Oh. My suspicions have been confirmed. By the way, remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Oh? Only a strong enough will can prevent you from being swallowed by the giant waves of abstract space. Damn. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. Okay. Well then, the door is open. Hop on in. I will do I'll that. stay outside and provide what stability I can. I'll be ready to respond if anything happens. Thank you, Mika. I'm placing my god in your capable hands. <laughs> You're placing your god and my god in your capable hands. That's a sentence and a half. For my sake Damn. and for Inazuma's, please bring her back. Yeah, she's serious when she says that. I will, yay. I will. Don't worry about that. Nico, you better know what you're doing. Yeah, me too. We will not fail. That's enough chatter. Get to work. You got a bus, ma'am. Okay, here we go, guys. This is it. We're back into it. What's going to happen here? Oh, here we go. Ooh, we're gonna fight them properly now. Ooh. Damn. Whoa.
Remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. Yeah, we've got to think about A and, and how much we need to help her, right? Come on, Lumine! Come on, Paimon! Oh, that was cool. We're gonna wake up there, right? Oh, there she is! Yeah, we're back! Let's go! Yo, let's go! Oh, that's so sick. Is she gonna, like, transform now? Huh? Oh, hey, I'm back! <laughs> How can this be? Miko magic. You have returned. But how were you able to get back in? All these years. How come you have not changed at all in all these years? She's been. F how long has she been fighting for, dude? This is a duel to remember. Jesus. It is as if we have returned to the moment when the laws of eternity were first established. Your will today is as strong as it was back then. Over countless battles, not once have you lost, and never have you shown the slightest hesitation. Damn. Had I made all enemies of eternity stand against you, you still would not have wavered. For your firm commitment to enforcing the rules, you have my admiration too. Damn. You bring honor to the title of Guardian of Eternity. Now these two return once more to this space. <laughs> An inevitability of fate, perhaps. I, I want to know how long they've been fighting for, dude. Yes? yes. Let this be our final duel. Ooh. The conclusion to that which began 500 years ago. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, listen. No, 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 no. Have they been fighting for 500 years? Like, 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 from their perspective. Is that what you're telling me right now? Jesus. Final duel? Huh. So you're finally willing to... Really? Oh, no, 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 because uh, she, she created the Sh Shogun Puppet 500 years ago. Is that what she's referring to? Stand back, traveler. Oh shit! Are you going to put an end to all of this? Uh oh. I'm going to be the start of something new. Ooh, let's go away. The time our duels took to fight was long enough to witness Again. the rise and Oh, my health is the same as before. Whoa! Oh shit! Here we go. Yo! <laughs> oh shit, dude! Oh my god, Raiden no Inazuma Tono, dude! Oh, oh, you dodged me! Okay, I should probably... Whoa, hold on. Easy. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, use two of these. I'm also... Wait. Oh shit, oh, okay, wait, no, I need to... And let's, let's use an Adeptus Temptation. Probably... Can I not... Can I not use it? Oh, I did use it. There we go. Cool. Nice. This should help. <laughs> I kind of need it. I'm by myself. Shouldn't... Shouldn't, um... Shouldn't the Traveler and stuff help out? Attack the Flowers of Remembrance with Electro to deploy a shield more quickly? Wait, am I good? Whoa. Damn! Whoa! <laughs> oh shit, dude. God damn. That was so cool. Jesus Christ. Oh, god damn. Oh! I have no idea what's going on, but it's awesome. I love it. Solo fight 1v1. Dude, this quest has been absolutely fantastic. This has been so freaking good. Oh shit, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Ooh! Okay. Uh. Oh shit, I'm still taking damage. Do I jump over it? I think I do. Yeah, that seems to be right. Can I hit you? Yeah, I can. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Whoa. Finish it. Finish it. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, that was so sick. This Let's go. is the end. You have won. Let's go, eh? I believed you were incapable of transcending the past. But it seems my belief was baseless. And I underestimated your spirit. <sighs> but a will that cannot be eroded has no way to embrace the future. You need not worry about the future. And you aren't alone. I know your power more than anyone else. Had I relied upon my strength alone, I would have lost this duel for sure. Hmm. Yet, 
My reason for fighting redefined my martial prowess and redrew my limits. I now carry the gaze of the myriad of expectant eyes that look to the light in the heavens. Damn, dude, that's powerful. And whenever I think of this, I feel something stirring within Muso Ishin. The blade that I inherited from Makoto seems to be trying to guide me, to encourage me. I noticed it also. Just now, in the heat of battle, it seemed to unleash a new and unfamiliar power. Oh. This power is beyond the limits of my understanding. Oh. This blade belonged to Makoto. The previous Shogun. Perhaps it can only respond to me with its full power when I truly understand and believe in her. I wonder why it says the previous Shogun. Like, obviously, because that, that, that's who it is, but, like, you think we'd know that, right? <laughs> when I clasped Muso Ishin in my hands, I had the feeling that she was by my side once again. Damn. It was at once a familiar feeling and a strange one. Makoto barely wielded a blade in her life, and yet her blade brings me closer to her. Because it was hers. You have my approval. Oh, oh. Your present will is not the product of erosion. I shall no longer stop you from attempting to modify the rules. Oh. From this day forth, this body will remain your assistant. Oh. I won't design any more rules that can never be changed. You used to represent my past, but from today onward, you are me. Wait, wait, what? Makoto never saw me as a fearless weapon. Likewise, I should not regard you as a mere tool. Oh. It's interesting because it's kind of like how A is becoming Makoto and the Raiden Shogun is becoming like the new A, if that makes sense. They're like kind of swapping. Huh. You truly have changed. I suppose this is what humans call growth. Character development. <laughs> we love her, don't we, guys? I understand. I shall become your shadow, just as you were once Makoto's shadow. Yeah. There you go. The duties I perform will not change. Huh. But as a warrior, I look forward to the chance to fight like this again in the future. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> Do you say this because you have not yet reconciled yourself with your defeat? Ah, uh, she's salty, bro. <laughs> it was simply a new experience for me. One that is worth reliving. Ah, uh, that's where the weekly boss comes from. Have you finished fighting then? Like, for real this time? <laughs> Oh? Well, what's happening? Oh. Is it Makoto? Muso Ishin is glowing. I did that, like, hazy thing that the, the secretaries did. Hello, A. <gasps> and greetings, those who have come to bear witness. Oh! Oh, that's so awesome! I am Raiden Makoto, the previous Electro Archon, who failed in my duties and left you all to pick up the pieces. Oh, no! Makoto? Oh no, dude! I'm so happy. Aww. You've come so far. I always knew he would make it here in the end. I left a faint fragment of my will in Muso Ishin, so that in the moment that you unleashed its full power, I too would be released. Aww. <laughs> a convoluted way to reach you, but... Well... You held such deeply entrenched views at the time that you wouldn't have listened to a word I said. Yeah. There was no time to wait for you to have a change of heart. Please forgive me. All I could do was find some way to wait until you came to me. But... You never mentioned this to me. Everything happened so suddenly. I'm sorry. I've always felt terrible for having to entrust Inazuma to you all of a sudden. I should have been the one to impart these ideas to you, a little at a time, to dissuade you from your pursuit of stillness. Yeah. Did you know what was about to happen in Conria? I had some sense of it. That place... was not somewhere that any Archon could afford to ignore. Yeah. In my present form, I can no longer perceive time. I don't know how long we have been separated before this reunion. And I don't know what Inazuma has experienced in the meantime. 
but I know that this must have been an extremely arduous journey for you. And I'm sure you must have wanted to shed tears many times along the way. No. Don't look down on me. Aww. <laughs> See? You admit it. Aww. It was with this possibility in mind that I left a parting gift for you. Something to soothe Inazuma's pain. Oh. Here. Oh. Take it. Before my last shred of consciousness fades away. What is it? But it is you who must take the most important step. The step forward, right? Cutscene? Oh, here we go. Huh? What is it? The light turned into a seed? The miracle tree that blesses the Sakura? people in this moment new to the world and yet to be known. When to plant it, where it shall bloom, she who brings it into being must let her heart and dreams decide. Grant it life, eh? Is this... is it really? <sighs> it's the sacred sacrifice seed. Eternity extends time into infinity. Dreams illuminate each moment within. When both shine in unison, the sacred Sakura blooms from the darkness, finally free from the clutches of the heavenly principles. Now the nightmare has dissipated, and reality is made whole. The vision we both yearn for is still further ahead. My only regret is that I cannot witness Inazuma's future. Nor can I walk this journey with you. <sighs> Do you know, eh? I am so happy right now. Because my final wish has now come true. Your polearm once protected me from countless calamities. For this, I've always felt indebted to you. Though I could never repay you in full, this sacred Sakura will buy you some time until you are ready to awaken and embrace the new. What do you think? Did it do the trick? <laughs> this time, it really is goodbye, eh? Aww. <sighs> Damn, dude. <sighs> goodbye, Makoto. Aww. Damn, dude. Wow. God damn. <laughs> wow. After leaving the realm of consciousness and returning to the shrine, you relay everything to Yaimiko. So I managed to read all that. The present planted the sacred Sakura in the realm of consciousness, and it took root in the Inazuma of the past. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Wow. Like, yeah, dude, that's whack. So, like, yeah, because... Oh, dude, that's so, like... Like, what? That's so, like space-time shit like wow no matter what you make of it it's quite incredible that tree that sacred sacred tree was what was what we just planted just then yeah it's always been there so that's kind of like it's oh dude that's whack all of this is thanks to makoto's power her understanding of eternity is much more profound than mine damn eternity is a concept intimately connected with time when you begin to touch on eternity the concept of time becomes murky. I saw wonderful things inside that place, yeah. Time was moving forward and backward at the same time. A place where time is meaningless and cannot be understood with ordinary logic. Huh, so that was the turbulence I was sensing. Huh. Perhaps that is the reason why you were able to return precisely to this point in time without any problems. Oh! And yet... That sense of disorderliness has now completely disappeared. I don't fully understand yet. Neither do I. <laughs> but, but it's awesome. my intuition tells me that the reason for everything, it's that seed. Yeah, and it's that sacred Sakura. Hmm. Well, I'm not convinced that it was Makoto's power alone. Really? I know what you mean. Perhaps Makoto got a higher power involved in all of this. Mr. Roth? But whatever the explanation, her solution is what saved us all. Way, what do you mean? What is Isteroth? Without the sacred Sakura, 
Inazuma would likely have been completely swallowed up centuries ago by that disaster and the filth. Yeah. I know you've always perceived there was something special about the sacred Sakura. But to me, it has always been there. Yeah, because, like, yeah, that's so weird, huh? How to look to everyone, it's always been there, but to A, like, previously, it just appeared. And what we just witnessed just then was probably the reason for that. You've tried in the past to prove to me that there is a connection between the sacred Sakura and Makoto's consciousness. But unfortunately, you never did persuade me, did you? No. But I understand why now. It was because the sacred Sakura hadn't even been planted then. Yeah. Um, but don't you think that tree looked a lot different than how it does now? I mean, it grew, right? The sacred Sakura is within my purview at the shrine. Yeah. So obviously, I get to prune it exactly how I like it. <laughs> Ugh. Now we see who's pulling the Oh, thing. that's why it looks like a fox. <laughs> it looks like a freaking burst one, dude. I'm joking. Oh. That tree has been through a lot since it first sprouted. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have the loving care of Kitsune over the ages to thank for how it appears today. Oh, wait, did they do it? And obviously I played my part, too. Okay, so new mind, I was right. <laughs> it's fair to say that very little Miko. time passed between the moment you came out of that realm and the moment you re-entered it. Hmm. But in that same time, centuries of battling yeah. took place on the inside, did Dude, it? Dude, that not? was crazy. Traveler, if I'm guessing correctly... You were repeating your wishes to yourself in your mind, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Is that significant? At that time, I could sense A's whereabouts, but I also sensed anomalies in the flow of time within that an space. An an uh, what, what kind? Suffice to say, time added a whole new dimension to our search. Simply establishing a location was not sufficient. Huh. Fortunately, your will was strong enough that the turbulence carried you to the moment in time most likely to be the intersection of all that you were wishing for. The flow of turbulence may well have been influenced by Makoto, but it took everyone's efforts combined to ultimately help A. So this time, it looks like thanks are due to you. Yeah, let's go! Does that mean it wasn't by chance that we ended up at the final duel? We were always meant to be there to witness what was going to happen? Wait, really? <laughs> An inevitability of fate. So we were actually... Huh. I thought that the flow of time was the same on the inside and the outside. So it was a great shock to me when the Traveler reappeared. Oh, to her, yeah, wow. My first thought was, has a great disaster befallen Inazuma? But it turned out you had come to rescue me. You came for my sake, to help me reach the best possible outcome. You too have my thanks. You have done much for me, and I will never forget it. A, how are you feeling now? Man, I love A so much after this. My body has fully recovered, and the Shogun's will no longer fights against me. Yeah. Always thrilled to hear you're in good health. So then I share the body. But I was really asking about your emotions. <laughs> have you managed to calm down? <laughs> after all... You saw Makoto in there, didn't you? Yeah. I only heard her voice. I wouldn't say I saw her. You could picture her, though. <laughs> I'll be fine. It brought a few things back, of course. But I've made my decision to move forward. Yeah. I have to say, this has reminded me once again just how brilliant Makoto was. She predicted all the ways in which Inazuma's future could unfold all the way back then. She even factored my immaturity into her plan. <laughs> Damn, dude. It's all thanks to her that Inazuma lived to see this day. Makoto was brilliant, but hey, you made a crucial contra- Yeah, you gotta give props to yourself, you know? I just planted a seed. Your will and hers were both indispensable. Yeah, it was thanks to everything you did that you got to see her again. That's amazing! The final act might be a, be a simple one, but getting there was the result of countless efforts coming together. Yeah. Absolutely. Just because the cause and effect ended up being uh, a bit back to front doesn't mean you should undervalue the part you played. Thank you. Absolutely. frickin lutely Today, at long last, you and Inazuma finally emerge from the shadows cast by the events of centuries past. Makoto and you are Inazuma's past and future, and both are indispensable. It's rare to hear such comforting words from you. I graciously accept them. Aw, oh, Miko cares. Miko cares, man. Oh, come on. 
You only think it's rare because you never used to listen to a word I say. <laughs> Makoto said the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're all pick on the <laughs> Great minds think alike, hmm? I wonder. Does that qualify me to uh -oh. maybe take the position of Shogun for a couple of days? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what do you wait? No, no, listen, ladies, la ladies, please, no, 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 no. We just had no enough. Actually, no. <laughs> that face, Forget dude. that. Far more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> I freaking love that face she's making, dude. <laughs> oh man. We will have to end the frivolities there. There is much work to be done. The shogun and I will closely review the Inazuma of today to find out where things currently stand. Then. We will give careful consideration to the future. After that, I will abolish the Sakoku decree. Didn't we already do that? Really? That's huge news! Sukaku decree. What? Oh no, no, I mixed that with the Vision Hunt decree. Sorry, what was the Sukaku decree? I am no longer pursuing an eternity defined by stasis. Oh. In which case, there is no further need to keep the nation under lock and key. Oh. Oh. I don't doubt that many challenges lie ahead for Inazuma. But out of those challenges will be, bo will be born new opportunities. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. And that's that. That was so good. Like, oh, dude, like, I have a lot of things I want to say about that. That was the character development I really wanted from A. Because a lot of people disliked they they, they 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 were kind of dissatisfied with the first part of um a's quest of the raiden shogun's quest i guess you could say but like see that, that there's a point to that there's a point that whole point was for her to get trust with us so she could come out about all the things she said about in this quest you know so it, it, it leads up to a great experience like we just had now so it, it just makes sense and what do these two say actually many challenges oh. still lie ahead for oh Izuma. But I am prepared for them. Oh, dude, I can ask them all this stuff. Oh, hell yeah. About the challenges, about the gaze of the gods, the centuries of dueling, about the damage to the sacred Sakura. Yaimiko said she was placing her... Go Wait, what? <laughs> <clears throat> Yaimiko said nothing of the sort. And the Traveler has some nerve making up spurious claims about her while she is still present. <laughs> some words are not to be passed on. <laughs> Trust me. You don't want to know the cost of betraying me. Just think of the things I said to you as our little secret. Oh. Understood. Uh -oh. What are you talking about? Uh oh. Nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh, I suddenly want some fried tofu. <laughs> Many challenges still lie ahead for Inazuma. Oh but well. I am prepared for them. About the challenges. Abolishing the Sakoku decree has a myriad of implications. It would be folly to say that it will be all positive, and there will be no negative repercussions. For example, I can foresee the outside world posing a threat to Inazuma's businesses. These are the issues that I must work to solve. Yeah. Hey, you're thinking about this all so conscientiously. I've only got as far as wondering whether I'll be able to sell entrance tickets to the Grand Narukami Shrine in the future. <laughs> she wants to make a buck. <laughs> Honestly, Miko. Yeah, Miko. Honestly, many Hand challenges on the hip. still lie ahead for Inazuma. Mm. But I am the gaze for them. of the gods. Makoto's gaze was always fixed on the people of Inazuma. I always assumed it was because that was her duty. But now, I see that hers was a gaze full of delight and hope. It was not just a duty, but a joy too. She loved humanity very dearly. Mm. If the people of the past deserve the gods' attention, then so do the people of the future. Mm -hmm. Indeed. No longer will I ignore their passions and dreams. Mm. Many challenges still lie ahead for Inazuma. The centuries of jeweling. Uh, to put it bluntly, it was constant torture. Damn. With no end in sight. Yeah, I bet. Faced with an endless battle, I had to remain focused at all times. Had my concentration lapsed for but a moment, the Shogun's blade would have taken my life. Damn. Safe to say, were it not for my previous experiences in combat, my skills would not have been up to the challenge. I would most certainly have been defeated. And through it all, 
You also had your part to play. Many challenges still lie ahead for Inazuma. About the damage to the sacred Sakura, yeah. Them. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten. I will be sure to remind the Tenryo yeah, and the Yashiro right. commissions of their duties in this regard. Mm. It's not only the monsters that I am worried about. I'm concerned about what else might escape from the sacred Sakura. That's a tough one, all right. There's plenty more besides memories held in the ley lines. Mm. Since you clearly understand, perhaps you could think about making an effort too. <laughs> Many challenges still lie ahead. Yeah, that, that's it, though. That's it. That's everything. But I am prepared for them. I have no other questions. Honestly, ten out of ten quests. There was never a dull moment in that. Everything that was so well paced. It led up to such a brilliant like scene. Like, oh my god, dude! Like. I'm definitely going to upload the entirety of this, but I will make a separate video of just my reaction to the main parts, because obviously, you know, it's easier to consume that way, that's why I do that. But I think this is such a worthy quest to just upload the entirety of my playthrough of it too, you know. Just for like, it's kind of like an archive for me to like re-experience the game as well, and I do like that. But yeah, either way guys, that is Raiden Shogun's second quest done. We got that weekly boss fight now, which is actually, wait, wait a minute. Yeah dude, it's right there. I can do it. Cool, I will do that later. But either way, I'm gonna end this. Uh, <coughs> wow, I just <coughs> almost choked there. Jesus. I will end this here. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good one.